Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Ashton. We're coming back to you to make another video. Uh, as you know, if you've been on my channel before, you know I make videos about whatever's going on uh, in my life, whether it's a new product, uh, riding electric skateboards, whatever the case may be. Uh, yeah, I talk about it on YouTube and uh, here we are. We found ourselves in another video. Today, I want to talk about uh, something pretty cool actually. So this is a uh, camera monitor. Uh, some of you may know what this is, some of you may not. Uh, yeah, it's an Atomos Ninja 5. Uh, what the main purpose of this monitor is, put a solid state on it, uh, and then you can record in 4K 10 bits. For those of you who don't know what 4K in 10 bit means, I'm talking about the colors. Uh, when I say bits, uh, you normally film in 8 bit. Most cameras are going to film 8 bit stuff. Uh, that's typically what most of your content is. That's just your standard dynamic range content. Uh, that being said, it's got about 16 million colors, which is a pretty good range of colors. Uh, however, if you want some more colors, uh, yeah, that's where 10 bit comes in. That's going to open you up to 1 billion colors. Now, some of you might also say, well, what's the point? You're putting these videos on YouTube. Why do you need 1 billion colors? Well, what's the same reason that film on red 8K cameras and film in 8K and then upload to YouTube? Boom, you nailed it. Exactly. When you put more information in a video and then YouTube downscales it, well, guess what? You come out with a better video because you had that more information there. So your colors are going to end up looking better anyway. Uh, yeah, long story short, just more information turns into a better video. It's a 5 inch monitor. You have to buy the SSD separately. You have to buy your battery separately. Uh, it takes a fat Sony battery uh, that mounts there. It's a uh, Sony F. Z550, 750, or 970, something like that, something like that. I bought the 970's uh, biggest battery you can put on it, so I was like, yep, let's run that, let's do the biggest battery possible, uh, I want all day battery life if I can. This thing's also got a spot for a headphone and uh, for your mic, so you can monitor your audio levels straight through the monitor, which is pretty awesome. And if you notice on this side, you will see HDMI in, HDMI out, which is pretty awesome from your camera right there. And then you have the option to go to an output. Uh, if you wanted to output to a TV or another monitor or for instance, I have the Elgato cam link. With that, I can just run the HDMI out of here after I have run log footage straight out of the camera into this guy ingrade the LUT via here and then out to the Elgato cam link. Boom, now you've got your webcam. That's all nice and beautiful. Uh, do you need 4K 10-bit <laughs> for your webcam? No, um, not at all, but why not? Anyways, enough talking about the uh, Atomos. Uh, I want to show you guys some footage uh, from this thing, uh, the 10-bit footage that I've captured over the past couple of days. We had some snow, so I uh, went out and filmed a little bit. I'm going to show you a couple 10-bit clips, a couple 8-bit clips, and uh, we'll, we'll come back and talk in a second. <gasps>
Alright guys, after comparing the 8-bit footage to the 10-bit footage, definitely gonna have to agree that 10-bit is the wave. Uh, definitely haven't edited any of it yet, so we'll see how the computer likes it, but I'm thinking it's not gonna be too bad, because ProRes has shown to be a little bit easier on the computer in the past. Using video that is encoded in ProRes, uh, typically editing programs like it a little bit better. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'll make a video talking about ProRes footage versus H.264 footage. Uh, we can definitely talk about that in both Premiere and Final Cut. We can, we can see how that compares. Honestly though, if you're just wanting to get more color information and better colors and you, your camera's capable of like doing 10-bit stuff uh, with an Atomos Ninja, definitely go for it. I, I think it's worth it. Uh, having a 5-inch monitor like that is very helpful when you're out filming. You can just look at that screen versus that tiny little screen on your camera. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to upvote that as well. You're writing to a solid state, so that's a lot more reliable uh, and a lot more, uh, I guess, cheap per larger storage uh, versus your regular uh, SD card. So, I don't know. I, I can get with that. Definitely don't buy the Atomos brand SSD. 200 or $250 for a freaking 500 gigabyte SSD, bro. I can literally go to Best Buy and buy a 512 gig SSD for literally sixty dollars like what Atomos has bumped their head with that so I get it it's a little bit shorter so it doesn't hang off uh, like that but bro does that really bother you that much that's not even half an inch not even half an inch you're telling me that you want to sell me a solid state to get rid of that half not even half an inch for an extra hundred and fifty dollars bro I'm cool I'm cool you're not you're not getting me with that nope nope not at all Mm -mm. So if you do buy an Atomos Ninja, don't buy their solid state. You don't need it. You don't need to spend that kind of money. Go buy a regular solid state. They give you the case that you can put your regular solid state in it. So I would definitely just say do that. The Ninja's dope though. You can add LUTs like in the freaking monitor itself. You can load your LUTs and go ahead and write that directly to your footage, uh, which is super dope if you are filming in a log profile, which you typically have to if you're going to film 10-bit. You're going to need to convert that to Rec. 709 so that way it can be viewed on your TVs, computers, your iPhones, all that. It's nice being able to do your LUTs through there and being able to actually go ahead and write that to your footage so that it comes out as just regular Rec. 709 footage even though it's actually 10-bit log footage that's already converted. So it's just less work on the back end, which is super awesome. Super awesome. I love it. Maybe do a few color corrections here and there, like shadows and highlights. But that's literally it, guys. And I'm all about saving time on the back end. The better you can make your videos up front, make them look nice and good, and not have to do so much on the back end, the more videos you can make and the more excited and the more amped up you're going to be to make another video because you know it's not going to take you forever to make it uh, and edit it and change the colors and everything. Uh, yeah, that's why I left Sony. We'll talk about that in another video though. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And as well, if you're not subbed, you need to sub. I'm going to do another giveaway soon. And you don't want to miss that. Who doesn't like free stuff? I mean, anybody, every time they tell me something's free, I'm always, if it's free, it's me, bro. It's free, it's me. So, anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.